Alrighty, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Persova. Now, there is a brand new Wreck-It Ralph being released into theaters this week, so I thought it'd be really fun to go ahead and do a tutorial on Ralph. I've taught you how to draw Vanilla Pea, but I've never taught you how to draw Ralph. So let's go ahead and start drawing Ralph, but let's lay out his entire body first and then fill in the detail. And we're going to go ahead and circle down. All right, pretty easy so far. And then what you're going to do is from one side of his face over here, you're going to bring out just a little bit of this side, jump over and then bring out the rest of this side. Okay. And then what I want to do is go ahead and give him that nose eye guideline. So we've got the nose area and then here is the eye guideline. Okay, so now we know where to lay out his eyes and his nose, that's just for later. Then what you're going to do is jumping out this way, underneath his head, you're going to bring out his torso one way, and then you're going to bring out his torso the other way. Now he's a pretty big guy, so it's okay. So we're going to go down and get a little bit skinnier towards the middle. Okay, and once you get towards the middle, you're going to come right up into here. So you're going to come right up into here, bring down one leg, so we're going to bring down his left leg, we're going to square this off, and then go right back in, and I'm going to go right back up, bring this down. Bring out his foot and then go go up and then go back in. What you want to keep in mind with Ralph is he's a very square dude. Everything of him is built up on squares. We're going to make one side of his arm. He's got ginormous arms. Jump over here to his neck over here. Circle around back into his body. Then remember, everything's built up on squares and very angular, so I'm going to bring out this side, square it off, go back in. So these are his sleeves. We're making the cut-off sleeves. Jump over here, square this off, and then we're going to make one square here, go back in, jump over here. Another square. Then a big square this way. And a big square over here. Everything is very boxy on Ralph. Very, very, very boxy. All right, let's go ahead and start filling in a little bit more details now, because right now he just looks like a crazy box person. What we're going to do for his face is you're going to go ahead right underneath where we made that eye guideline, you're going to make a big round nose. His nose is super simple because it's just a big round nose. And then what you're going to do is his eyes, we'll place one eye here. And his eyes pretty circular, so they're pretty close together. So we'll bring one eye here and one eye here. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and define a little bit more with his expression by giving him some big boxy eyebrows. I'll go ahead and color one in, jump over here and create the other boxy eyebrow off to the side. After that, what you're going to do is you're going to jump down just a little and crease off the top eyelid here. I'm going to crease off this one too since the eyebrows. And they're a little bit bushy so the eyelids are, by the eyebrows going downwards into that kind of anger look, it's creasing the eyelids to go into the top of the eyeballs. So 
So right here, we're gonna go ahead and place one pupil iris, and then another pupil iris. And he's got brown eyes, so I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in that pupil. Curve off one bottom of the eye over here, and then curve off the bottom of the eye over here as well. Alright, and then we're going to actually curve up one eye here, curve up the other eye. Alright, and then we're going to jump on to his, down to his nose. Let's just make this a little bit more of an oval. So I'm going to bring out the ovalness, ovalish, just a little bit more, round it down, and go up. So you see how it's nice and oval. And you're going to bring in one nostril here, and then one nostril here. Alright. Then from down here, you're gonna give him more of a smirk. So I'm gonna jump down just right here and I'm gonna make, his mouth is pretty simple. So we're just gonna make a really simple line, goes up and then we have a dimple right here. So now that we have his facial features, let's go ahead and define his face a little bit more. His head, because he's got his own characteristics. So I'm gonna go from the side we're gonna go up, curve down, so his forehead is a lot taller, so we're gonna curve down that widow's peak for his hair. Go down. And then we're gonna bring out his head, make his chin rounder. Go up and back into his face. And then we're gonna jump off to the side and another, once again, another boxy kind of characteristic is one ear here and then another ear off to the side. Make sure that they're the same. So after that tall forehead, let's go ahead and give him more of some hair shapes. So I'm gonna start from his widow peak and go up. And he's got all kinds of spikes going on, so we're just going to give a couple spikes here. Some, some hair going this way, and hair going this way. All kinds of hair. So you don't want to bring it out too far. And then he's got big time sideburns, so we're going to just bring across the side right here. One sideburn in front of his ear and then another sideburn in front of his ear, but you still wanna give those sideburns more of spikes, cause they're like hair clumps. No, they're not growing out of his ears, they're just his crazy sideburns. And then his hair is gonna actually go out from back here. A couple of other shapes, and a couple of other bits and pieces of spikes everywhere. thing about his hair is it's just like you want to keep it all like in this kind of range don't go outside of that range too much and the spikes are all just going upwards and they all are individual clumps they have that very cartoony way so they're all individual clumps and just remember that the sideburns everything is really dark hair it's just that the sideburns are going in front of his ears and they're not coming out of his ears, but they're definitely not regular sideburns. So let's start defining his face just a little bit more. So what you're going to do is we're going to go inside of his body, bring down one, so it's going to go into a V-neck and go up and around, come down. 
This is just the buttons of his shirt to go up. Right. Then you're going to make a circle here. One circle here. And then I'll bring this down just a little bit more. And another circle right here. Then what you're going to do is you're going to jump off to the side of his arm. So we're going to go up. going to make his sleeve more cut like it's ripped. So I just add these jagged edges. So I'm adding jagged edges to his shirt going off the side and then I'm going to go right back down into his body. And then I'm going to jump over here, do the exact same thing where I'm going to add these jagged edges to his shirt and then go back into his body. Then we're going to jump up here and give him one overall strap, seeing that he only has one that's always on all the time to keep his pants on. So you go up to his left shoulder, bring down the side of that overall strap, and then I'm going to go ahead and cut off the bottom there. I'm going to make the little metal contraption thing, so you just kind of draw through the, metal, through the strap. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I don't know how to <laughs> it's the the thing that holds the actual button to the actual metal strap I don't know and then I'm gonna go ahead bring down one overall going off to the side see I went outside of what we drew because right now this he's the bottom of him is a little too small we're gonna have to go a little bit bigger and then I'm going to draw this side, go down across his chest, and it's going to go up into his body. It's like the other side of his overalls. And you're going to jump over here. And bring that out. So I made a huge mistake. We're going to have to get rid of the bottom. We still want to keep the overall shape, it's just that his torso is too small the way we first laid it out. We're actually going to bring down his body just a little bit more. So his body should be like rounded up this way. We still have enough room on our paper. But I'm going to bring down one foot here. So it's the exact same shape, we're just making his body a little bit bigger. So we have one foot here. It goes into its, to his body. And then another foot right here. So still the same shape. Still keep in mind that everything is very boxy. So I'm going to bring out his chest more and then go out, bring down this chest, and there we go. So let's go back to his arms. So we're going to still keep the overall shape. We're going to go down from his wrist, make this big, and then this part is going to go out, and then in. And then we got big ginormous hands. So we're gonna start with going out, up, bring in one thumb. So we have one thumb right here. We all have one thumb. <laughs> and then we're gonna go up. And we're gonna go across the box we made because we're gonna make the knuckles now. Bring this down and connect to the other side. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and curve. First, we're gonna curve inside right here, and then it's gonna go up, and then we're gonna make a V mark, and then make that little indention on our hand. So we'll start, this is just a really easy way to create knuckles. We're gonna go across and down, so we go across where we made that box, 
Make another one, round it off. Make another one, and round off the pinky. That is the easiest way that I can teach how to do like a folded fist or Ralph's hand. So we got, we got all five fingers. So we just make these look a little bit more like fingers now. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, yep. And get rid of extra little boxes areas. So there's our one hand and what you can do is you're gonna go in, make the one indention here and the one indention going into the thumb. Right, so now let's start with this hand over here. It's almost gonna be the exact same thing. We're just gonna go in the other direction. So we're going to make a wrist, go into the arm, bring up that sleeve. All right, so we're gonna bring this down. Make more of an elbow. So we'll start with the thumb once again. So we're gonna go outside of the box curve in with the thumb I'm gonna make that little shape again it kind of looks like a V it's just to give the crease of the thumb and then we're gonna go outside the box again round it for the knuckles go in round it down and then go into the wrist So I'm gonna go and bring up this finger. So I'm gonna make this finger first. So we're gonna make, go up and down. Up and down. Up and down. And then go in and make another. And we're just gonna curve off the side going to make a crease right here. We'll erase this part to make these fingers look a little bit more natural. Make a crease here. And then make a crease here and here. There's another easy way how to get those fists going. So we just want to keep it nice and flowing, but keep everything nice, nice and boxy. We'll make a, nut, a nice line here and a line right here. So Ralph just has really big arms, big head, and everything else is just kind of small. So let's jump down to his body now. So this part, remember we said it goes outside the overalls. Now what we're going to do is in here. So we're gonna jump down to his feet now and we're gonna go ahead and cut off his pants. His pants are cut off just like his arms. got this so we've got this going in here and we'll give his overalls a little bit more detail in a second so let's just go ahead and first draw out his first set of feet so the thing is very much like his actual hands they kind of look like broken up knuckles so for the feet you're just gonna go ahead and go across and then what you're going to do is one Two, three, four, five. So we got the pinky toe, the pinky toe and everything. So we just round these off just a little bit for bare feet, but you wanna keep this line and the line going across. And 
All right, then you're gonna jump off to the side over here. We're gonna round off the bottom here. Bring out this side, go out, and then in. And you're gonna bring across these toes, so this line goes in and cut off the side right there. Then you're gonna go down, 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 down. So if we were to lightly erase this, his toes going downward would look like this, but they look like box feet. They just have a division to them. So one, two, three, four, five. Gotta get them toes right. <laughs> All right, uh, he is just, he's difficult. He's a different kind of looking character, but as long as you keep the mentality that everything is boxy, keep everything boxy. It's not that hard. His actual feet are not that hard compared to other bare feet on animated characters because he, he's got box toes. Everything is in the shape of a box, so you really have to keep that in mind. Now for the detail on his overalls, so everything is kind of loose fitting, and we've got this part that's hanging down along the side. Now the thing you want to keep in mind is he's got one little pocket kind of off to the side right here underneath his overall and then you're going to go across and you're going to bring down this side go down the middle he's got a pocket here and he's got another pocket over here so the, his, his overalls are all brown but these are just kind of like rips and the seams so we've got like some rip over here so we get rid of that bottom part and all of his lines on his overall. So this is a definite seam. This is a definite seam, a seam here. And then we've got just like, you know, this is the rip from worn out parts. And he's got the rips here. And there we go. And then for his shirt, he does have squares on his shirt. It's a plaid shirt. So the best way that I always map out Ralph's shirt is I go straight across all the way across to the other side and then I'll go and do the exact same thing all the way across and then I've got one here one set here and then I go across this one go across and then you're just gonna go down You just want to keep in mind when you make a row going this way and this way, you don't want it to be like this when you draw his shirt. You want to keep it in the motion of his actual position of his body. And there you guys go. There's how to draw Wreck-It Ralph. So I hope you guys will go and see Disney's new Wreck-It Ralph 2. Ralph breaks the internet. I hope you guys all go see it. I'm so excited to see it. And I will see you all later. 